Who forced them? After this crying, they must pray. Let's pray. The Lord is merciful. Hi, family. Welcome to the channel once again, family. Uh, in this sermon, Pastor Chris addresses the reason why people cannot stop fornicating or stop sinning. That is in general. Now, the solution is so simple, family. I was really surprised. He addressed the issue of uh, why people keep on sinning and keep on fornicating. They will sin today. They will say, "Oh no, we will not sin again." But in some few days, they will see themselves falling again to the same sin. Pastor Chris addressed this issue and gave a unique solution on that. From the others, the sin, as Pastor Chris tells us how to stop fornicating. There they are, the two of them. They have committed fornication again. Now they sit down facing each other. What are they doing? Crying. They just finished. Some faces decided on faces. Are... <laughs> I thought I would never do it again. Then I would say, <laughs> What are they crying about? Who forced them? After this crying, they must pray. Let's pray. The Lord is merciful. Slow to anger. Then they pray. And they claim forgiveness. Three days later, it has happened again. <laughs> you know what the problem is? Indiscipline. Indiscipline. It's not devil. Indiscipline. They have lost their ability to say no. Indiscipline. It doesn't happen again. What happened again? What do we work with you? We are not against you. We are for you. In fact, when we say we, it's not us and you, it's us together. We always are walking out looking how to do something for you, not against you. Someone called me on the telephone. Pastor, I've done something wrong. I said, what is it? He said, I was caught in uh, examination malpractice. I said, what happened? She wanted to tell me exactly what happened. I said, alright, we'll see what we can do about it. Not, hey, you. It's because we are for you. We cannot be against you. You are in trouble. You make the mistakes. You've blown it. Now, pack up all the pieces. You've cracked the bottle. Bring everything. Don't throw in the towel. Just bring it in. And say, here's what I've done. Can you help me? Be honest about it. And then you get help. Instead of hiding and running away. And everywhere you run to, the, the thing will go with you. Very good family. As you all heard from him, it is so clear that Pastor Chris addressed this issue beautifully. So it is indiscipline that causes this. Because many... Christians are not disciplined at all. That's why they still fall back into the same sin, into the same ditch, that is the same uh, fornication. They will say, oh, they have stopped, but yet they will see themselves still fornicating. So it is indiscipline, you know. They are not disciplined enough to say no. If I say no, no, I won't, I won't do it again, you know. But he also made mention that many uh, Christians don't, you know, uh, speak the truth about what they are going through. They, they tend to lie around the whole thing, you know, because they tend to, you know, fabricate lies of what they are going through. That's why they don't really get the help that they want. But 
the underlying truth is that we need to be disciplined and if we are disciplined then we will not go back again to sinning because if one is disciplined you will not step back again and fall into the same sin that you fell in the last time so family let us live a disciplined life so that we will not keep on sinning against our creator and our god so god bless family for listening i will see you in the next video god which they bless you